everybody, my name's Silver. We got a lot of news to cover on today's Vanguard episode, but before we get into that, let's talk about the giveaways I'm doing. Guys, I have a Fortnite and Cardfight Vanguard or Traded Card Game in general giveaway. Um, videos are prior videos of Monday, so go check them out. I'm also adding these to an option for the 100 subscribers and 1,000 subscriber milestones, where if um, you subscribe and you enter the contest, you can choose four copies of these as your prize as well. So, let's talk about this. Like I said, go check out the giveaway, subscribe if you're new, and ring that bell icon to help grow the channel. Alright guys, moving along. So, as of late, it seems like Bushiro can't seem to get a handle on anything. So they give us this wonderful post on their Facebook page. Dear card fighters, it has come to our attention that there is a printing error for English edition Cardfight Vanguard Extra Booster 2 Champions of Asia Circuit. Releasing on August 31st, Dimension Plus Robo Dylander or Dimensional Robo Dylander V V E Okay, I'm not going to read that. Was printed with an incorrect illustration, the first illustration. We sincerely apologize for any possible confusion. A copy of Dimensional Robo Dylander with the correct illustration, the second illustration, will be included as a box topper in each display for the ultra rare booster. Releasing December 14th, nearly forever later. Copies of Dimensional Robo Dylander with the incorrect illustration can still be used in decks. Thank you for thank you for for your usual support and we hope to continue enjoying playing Vanguard. And this isn't the first time in V series that they messed up. Now, this is what Dylander normally looks like and what it should have looked like. This is what we're getting. I have no idea what this art goes to. Like I checked the other cards in Asia Circuit. There's nothing else with this art. I have no idea if this was like to, meant to be a promo or something and it it will just failed epically so i'm kind of interested to see if this actually has another art or a card maybe this should just give us the dylander art on top of whatever this card's art supposed to be but i plan on using four copies of these in my dimensional robo i plan on owning like eight copies for no apparent reason just to own eight copies so it's a common card and don't be confused when you get your dylander that it's messed up all right, moving on to today, today's news. We got our set breakdown with our Leopold, our Gear Chronicle, and our um, Genesis units. Another box that I'm probably going to buy all the decks to. There is some really weird gimmicks with writing for Gear Chronicle, and they gave us this unit already. We already have this card, so let's move along. We have other information here about Premier Triangle, which I might cover in another video if you guys want it. So Extra Booster Genesis... Um, we already have all this information. I did it in a prior video. We have some concept art of Blaster Dark with Ren. We have a Americanized wrestler. Um, I think Mcool40 and Nexus Core and all of them are have already done videos as well. So go check them out. They're pretty cool YouTubers. I like them. All right. Um, so we'll start off with the. Dimension Police, or not the Dimension Police, wow, that's our Dark Irregulars. So this guy, he still charges one, and after five or more cards in soul, you get 2k. Pretty nice. This one is almost the same, five or more cards in soul, gain 5k. Soul charge two when it attacks a Vanguard on Vanguard. So 14k attacker, pretty nice. I love the art for this card. Uh, and then we finally got the good card, so I'll show it off here. And, yeah, so, let's read his skill. His skill is one place, soul charge one. Then for each card in your soul, this unit gets 2k. This unit, in t during that turn, it gains 2k. At the end of battle, in which this card attacked, if you have 13 cards or more in soul, counter blast one, place one card from hand, and three of your rearguards into soul. Or add one card from your soul as stan, during that turn, that unit gets plus one critical. That's a superior ride right there. You you get rid of your entire back row to suck um, in a new grade three to attack. That's tremendously great in my opinion. Because you have two of these guys on the front row. 
whatever your boosters, you probably take this guy, three copies of this guy, let's just use that. You suck them all to so, so and you're plus twoing. You you twin drive. Um, being that this is an auto at the end of battle at attack, that's pretty good. Um, I don't see a once per turn on this, so if I guess you can find a way to superior call in the middle of battle, you might be able to do it twice, but I don't think Turkey Wrangler has anything for that, so they might. You might be able to do it in a premium deck. That'd be really good. But yeah, that's kind of broken, in my opinion, because you're going to get two marks off of it. And I guess it's good that they're not force marks, or you'd be stacking force marks. But actually, you plus three with this. Because you ride, you get the gift mark. You send a card to soul from hand you, after you twin drive. So you're at plus three there. You lose one. You get... Yeah, you'd get like four cards out of this. That's pretty good. Um, and then so we have extra... We'll move on to extra booster four. Which is the answer of truths. I love the art. I love Leopold's art and all this. Good thing that this isn't a Chrono Jet unit, which we're about to cover here. So let's go over the set breakdown and I'll do my theory. I'll try to think of some theory videos. Uh, there's going to be 68 different cards, three VRs, obviously, six triple, eight double, 14 triple, which is going to, or 14 single, 37 common, three origin rares, and three SVRs. It's going to include Gear Chronicle, Great Nature, and Genesis as stated. It's going for Gear Chronicle, which is a Force Clan, the box unit. Is interdimensional dragon knight lost aid lost legend nice we have oracle queen himiko and the one and only school hunter leopold so let's go over this guy which i think you guys will agree with me he's kind of powerful if you want the truth so what does he do well he's a force clan so he has 13k he's from the dark zone he's gear chronicle gear dragon so this isn't going to work with Zodiac Time Beast at all, which is nice. Uh, at Vanguard Cost, discard up to a total number of cards whose grid equal three or more. Search your deck, your deck, for up to one grade four and write it as at stand. Shuffle the deck. When your turn ends, retire this unit and ride one grade three card from your soul at rest. When this card is written... Cost counterblast to draw one. So this is powerful. They're striding. Gear Chronicle is striding from the main deck. Never mind an actual card. Now I'm kind of hoping that the grade fours that you get to put in the deck have a restriction of they cannot be normal ridden. And that could be something really cool. I see them having force mark skills, so you're gonna ride this. Then you're going to stride, because there's no restriction on when you can stride with this card. You're going to stride into the grade 4, get another force mark that's going to really accelerate your gameplay. And whenever it's written, you can sacrifice two counter blasts, which may not be a lot of resources for that in this, and draw an extra card, which is amazing in my opinion. Um, I'm really interested and intrigued to see where this will go. Everyone is like, like I said, Mcole Forty. I believe Nexus Core has said something about it. We're all intrigued to see where Gear Chronicle Pseudo Stride from the main deck is going to go, and what these Great Fours are going to have for skills. Because as you know, Great Fours got powerful, and that questions what happens to the G Zone as well. Maybe there will be some Grade Three where you can Superior Guard with a Grade Four from deck. That'd be kind of cool. So we won't know that until we get more information, which will be a while. Um, answers, truth, extra booster guarantees to either have a VR or an SVR per box, I'm assuming, booster box. Which is something that Q4 did, and I think that other sets said they weren't going to do. But Bushiro should hopefully keep that logic of an SVR or a VR in each booster box to make the game more accessible for all players. Um, and then next week, Vanguard, there's some other information, which I really don't know. I see something with Gold Paladin, so I can't wait to continuously get my Gold Paladin deck back online. But guys, that is it. That is all the news for today. And remember, 
Guys, go check out how the giveaways are going to be done. Um, if you want to enter them, subscribe and like the video. Ring the bell icon. And until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.